to prevent skin cancer, there's a number of things that people can do and change in their own lifestyle. And it's not just not being outside. Certainly no one uh, wants to just stay inside all day, but you can use uh, sunscreen to prevent um, sunburns. What I tell people at minimum, you want SPF 30 or above. The incremental benefit from eight to 30 is huge. So as long as you're using 30 or above and it has UVA and UVB coverage, then to me, you're using the right sunscreen. But it is hard to use sunscreen correctly. So you gotta remember, you gotta put it on about 30 minutes before you leave the home. You wanna put it on and let it be, and then you have to reapply. For most people, it's about every two hours, but some people need it even more often than that. If you're in the water, if you're exercising, you need it more often. I think that's the biggest mistake people make is they, they're really great about putting it on before they go, but then you're having fun and, and all of a sudden it's six hours later and, and you have a sunburn. What I find more effective and easier, frankly, are really what we call barrier methods, which means sun shirts, hats, and just covering up. The other things is just not going to tanning beds, to be honest with you. I mean, tanning beds are intense amount of UVA rays, and that's really what we're trying to prevent. To discuss a little bit about how to monitor your skin, I would suggest, you know, self exams are actually one of the most effective ways. Paying attention to your moles and, and your skin, anything that's new, anything that's changing. I think once a month is more than sufficient. If you look at something every day, you won't really see a change. People talk about the A, B, C, Ds, and sometimes E's of, of melanoma. A is for asymmetry, so an irregular mole. B is for borders, so the borders don't look clear. Uh, C is for color, so variations in color within the mole. D is for diameter. If you have a mole that's greater than five millimeters, which is about a quarter of an inch. E is for evolution, so an area that's changing over time. So it may have looked pretty normal and then starts to change. Seeing a dermatologist, especially if you're in that high-risk population, is very important. And even many primary care doctors are actually very good at looking at people's skin and knowing what's abnormal and what's not. Get into the gown. Everyone hates getting into the gown when they go to the doctor's office, but if you don't, no one's gonna look and no one's gonna see those areas that you may miss on your back and areas that you can't see.